Do you want to check out IT Pro TV but aren't ready to commit? We're making a few episodes from our most popular courses free for you to try here on YouTube so you can see what they're all about. Enjoy this episode and head over to itpro.tv when you're ready to see the full course. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Well, that's right. We are kicking off the SISA Plus show. I'm going to be your host for this journey. My name is Wes Bryan, and I've been teaching CompTIA certifications for quite a few years now, almost a decade, and hold various CompTIA certifications. Now, to my right here is Mr. Dan Lowry. Dan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, no problem. I am Daniel Lowry. I'll be your subject matter expert for the SISA Plus uh, series that we are kicking off today. And I hold various CompTIA certifications, specifically in security. I held the SISA Plus and Pentest Plus certifications, as well as other vendor certifications in security. I've been in IT for a little over 20 years and recently have really focused my effort on security. So that's what is going to help you. I'm going to give that information to you for this series. All right, Dan. So I'm sitting there. Let me say I'm just uh, stepping into the role of the viewer here. I'm sitting in front of that uh, computer screen, and I have just started watching the very first episode. What is something that I can expect to get out of it, right? Hmm. What it really is in, it, is in it for me? Yeah, well, that's a great question, right, first off. And the, and the thing is, is that this is going to give you an all-around very good general understanding of what a cybersecurity analyst does throughout the day. What are their job requirements and roles, technologies they need to be uh, familiar with and be able to implement and understand. Uh, we're gonna get into a lot of really cool technologies that analysts use throughout the day. And at the end of the day, you're gonna have the knowledge that you need to pass a certification exam. All right, now I know that on the rung of CompTIA certifications, because I teach A+, which is considered one more of the entry levels, um, is there any requisite knowledge? Is there anything, like, what should I come to the table? Because I can imagine on a higher level certification, we have some assumed knowledge. Yeah, good, good question, and that is absolutely correct. We're going to have you... Uh, you're going to need to know a few things about computers. You can't just walk in off the street and say, I'm going to get SISA Plus. This is an intermediate level exam. So they have a lot of basic computing, system administration, network understanding, and even security concepts before you walk in the door and try to do some SISA, right? So uh, make sure that you have that knowledge. If you don't, no problem. We have all that in our library for you. So you can check that stuff out. And then once you get up to speed, you can come right back here and check out SISA Plus and then uh, go for that certification. Very good. Now, I also know that when we are teaching or instructing, if you will, when it comes to CompTIA courses, you know, how it's structured, a lot of times it's based on the exam objectives. Is that a little bit of how this is going to be structured? Yeah, it's exactly how it's going to be structured. They have uh, broken down the exam into five different exam objectives. We like, we can jump into my computer, we can start learning a little more about the certification, and then uh, we'll move into the process of that. So here we are, I'm on their uh, CompTIA's website. There is the uh, URL for that, comptia.org, forward slash certifications, forward slash cybersecurity dash analyst. Whew, that's a mouthful. But as we move down, we start to see, you know, what the certification is about, about the exam just a bit. And then we have the skills that we're going to learn. These are the domains for the SISA Plus exam. So threat and vulnerability management, security operations and monitoring, software and system security, incident response is a big one, uh, compliance and assessment, another really uh, difficult one, but important for this exam. So there's your domains. This is obviously going to bro be broke down to more than five episodes. We're going to take each bit of that, tease out all the sub objectives that come with it. I do have a copy of the exam objectives that are right here, which you can also download from their website. You just have to fill out a form and you'll get this lovely PDF, which will show you that. I think it's a little oversized here for you, but it's kind of the same basic information. There's the domains as well. Also giving you the percentage of each exam, um, uh, of the exam that those domains will take up. So you can kind of like weight your uh, importance on those things. And of course, all those subtopics. So I won't read this out for you. I'll let you go ahead and download that for yourself. And then we'll move down into uh, some more exam details, specifically uh, length of test, 165 minutes. It is a multiple choice, performance-based, maximum of 85 questions. You need a passing score of 750 to, uh, to get that cert. Other good things about this is like, where can you get the test at? Well, Pearson View a provider, so you can click those links and go there. And then there's the price, 359 US dollars will get you a chance to sit at the seat and walk away with certification. So hopefully that helps you out there. 
All right, Dan, I tell you, you know, I know why I'm excited to be a part of this certification journey, and that's because, well, who doesn't like security, right? That's important, and I know that uh, it's something that I enjoy. What are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to this because this is the latest and greatest uh, for defensive type of security, and they've done a really good job with this exam and the information that lies within. So it's going to be a lot of fun to go through those technologies and concepts and pass that knowledge on along to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we know that we're looking forward to having you join us. So if this is, sounds like a certification exam that you want to tackle, stick around because, well, we're just kicking this journey off and there's a lot more to come. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.